I've got a TikTok try that is finally a fun craft. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bead Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I'm in the middle of a little series where I'm trying things I've seen on TikTok and I thought I would do something crafty. It's been a while that I've done something crafty on this channel and if any of you guys are new here or haven't, you know, been in the know, I did create a separate crafting channel for all of my tutorials. This will also be on there with like a very nice kind of voiceover and a really quick walkthrough. But I'm gonna do this more of a vlog style for you guys on this channel. So on TikTok, I saw so many cute like macrame type crafts and I thought I would do something that I've done from the Dollar Tree. Uh, my parents cut their own trees still, they're like awesome. And a lot of times we just save a couple sticks and this one I really liked. It's about like a foot and a half long. Uh, you can do this as big as you want or as small as you want. This might end up being a craft for one of my nieces. And then I picked up some of this yarn from the Dollar Tree a while ago, but you could use some of their nautical rope. It just kind of depends exactly what material you want. And I am going to cut these guys up in, I don't know, three feet to five feet long strips and attach them to this and just make like a cute little, I don't know if the term is whimsical type decoration and then trim off the bottoms and make a fun design. So let's get to it. So after what seemed to be like forever untangling this thing of yarn, I finally unraveled it and cut little strips of the yarn. I used this table as a kind of a template and I just went through almost the entire, I think it's called a skein of yarn, just cutting all of these strips. Now this didn't need to be perfect. I was going to plan on trimming the bottoms eventually anyways, so I just wanted to get all of these strips cut so that I could assemble my craft really quickly. So once they were all cut, it was time to loop these onto my stick. I folded my yarn in half and took the center part where it created a loop and put it on the back side of my stick and then pinched the remaining part of the yarn and pulled it through the loop that was created and then just pulled it tight. And then I did this for all of the pieces that I cut off. So this step really didn't take that long and once I got to the end, I left a little bit, maybe like three inches of stick exposed on either side of this craft. And now that I'm thinking about it, if you want to hang this on your wall and just want this portion of the craft displayed, you could probably hammer in two nails into your wall and kind of hide it between the yarn but I didn't want to do that. I instead wanted a little loop of yarn from one end to the other to hold up this craft. So I just tied a double knot on either end using a string about the same length as all of the other pieces that I cut. And then I would use this to hang it on the wall. So if you want, you could go ahead and stop here, but I didn't really like how the end of the yarn pieces were frayed and just kind of looked a little too messy. So I decided to try and just kind of trim off a little pattern on the bottom, kind of swooping it to resemble the look of the stick.
if this style doesn't fit your liking, you could do like a weird zigzag pattern. You could probably come up with some other patterns of your liking, but I just kind of liked this half circle type finish. So that wrapped up this simple craft, but I decided to try another technique since I still had some yarn left over. So to make this, I took another piece of yarn, created a little loop, and then cut little tiny strips of the yarn as well and made a whole bunch of them just again to kind of speed up the process later on. After I was done cutting, I took these little pieces of yarn and tied the same knot and attached these little pieces to the loop, kind of alternating either end. And my intention was to create something that resembled a feather. So as you can see here, again, I'm taking my small piece of yarn, looping it underneath the halfway mark of that yarn underneath my center rope and pulling the ends through the loop that was created and tightening it and kind of pushing it up so that we have this nice kind of feathered look. Now for the next piece, if I were to do another one, I would have it with the ends on the right hand side. Now you could probably just end here, but it kind of looked a little messy to me. So I just kind of took a marker and outlined where I wanted to trim my pieces so that it would have a cleaner finish and better resemble a feather. As I'm reviewing this, I'm even coming up with more ideas. If let's say you had like a blue room and you wanted to kind of color your yarn, you probably could use markers to color this white yarn and kind of make it fit into your room design as well. Or you could just leave it white, which is how I'm gonna plan on leaving it. I also want to point out that the yarn that I used for the center, I made sure to loop it so that once all of the little side pieces were, you know, tied on, I would have a little loop at the end so that I could then attach it to something, in particular, my little craft. So I just kind of looped it on the side here, but it kind of gives you an idea of what it might look like hanging on the wall. So here we go. Here's the final product. I trimmed the bottom here to kind of reflect the shape of the stick. And then I did want to point out, I made this little feather and this you could make in like a variety of sizes and if you didn't want to have just a bunch of strings like laying down you could have different sized feathers i don't know i think that you could totally change this up to fit like the theme of the room but i really like how the feather turned out i as you guys saw i took like one piece of string and made it a loop and then did the same knot that i did for these guys uh right here like alternating which sides the ends ended up on and then I just kind of trimmed it out after marking it with a pen to get like the right shape that I was looking for but 
this was pretty simple. It was a little time consuming, but if you just did this method, you'd only have to make, at least for this size stick, maybe like five or six feathers and it would look really great. I should also mention that these little balls came as part of the yarn from Dollar Tree. I could have separated them out so that they, I just wouldn't use them at all on this craft, but I thought like having just a random placement of the balls would look interesting. But the great thing about this is I didn't use any glue, so I could easily just like remove one of these strings and replace it if I want to move where this one ends up or so on. So it's pretty flexible. And that's it. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this craft. Let me know how you would change it up or make it your own down below in the comments. Don't forget to check out my crafting channel, Lima Bean Crafting, for more inspiration. I always post the tutorials of every craft that I take care of on that channel. I try to keep the tutorials short and sweet and with all of the information that you need to recreate my crafts for yourself. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.